G'day punters, welcome to Head Over Heart, Billy Brownless, Daisy Thomas, our good friends at Points Bet, and we're already in the round eight of footy. Round eight. And we're loving it, Daisy. We certainly are. How good have the crowds been, but also oh, how good well. have the games been? Absolutely brilliant. Round eight already. It is, and it's Friday night footy at Marvel. This will be a good game. Carlton, or oh, nice big win last week. Nice confidence for them. Take on Brisbane, who are playing a really good footy, and they got that connection from midfield to the forward line. They're kicking plenty of goals. The lines. They certainly are. You feel that that win for the Blues last week might just be the confidence booster that they needed, especially their connection centre forward. Obviously, Harry Mackay played a decoy role, right? yes. still kicked a couple. That's all right. Nothing then, wrong with that. <laughs> well, some of us made a career out of it, and it certainly wasn't me. I was a star. Charlie Kerno, he kicked nine, though, yes. so there's his confidence sky high. As you say, though, hard to knock the lines. They're looking at five in a row. Won their last four, kicked an average of 128 points in those games. They hit the scoreboard when they're going, and they can be very damaging. Well, Danaher's been good. He's Love been very late. Good. Eric's been good. Start Lockie the Harley. Neal. Oh, yeah, Charlie, oh. Lockie Neal. Their whole midfield have been good. So we like Brisbane here. Yes, head says Brisbane, unfortunately. Hard, obviously, the Blues, but the head here is going with the Lions to continue their winning form. Match of the round comes up next. It's down in Geelong, GMHBA <laughs> Stadium. This is a corker. Speaking of kicking goals, what about the horse? Kicks nine, eight last eight. week. Jeremy Cameron three, and then you got Henry. You got them all lining up. They were very good there. Taking on Adelaide, who have also been great. I love they fit, they run, they've got some good midfielders, and their forward line's going all right too. They've got a really potent forward line yeah. to match the Cats as well. So the Geelong defenders going to have their hands full there. We think of Tex, Rankin, Philthorpe, your boy, uh, obviously Fogarty and Rochelle as well. Fogarty's a very good player. Very good kick for goal. The Cats at home, though, are very hard to look past there. And at $1.18, the punters just piling into them to get it done again. I tell you what, if you do like some value, you'd look at Adelaide at $5. Well, you dollars, Absolutely. That's two horse race. We're expecting the weather down there in GMHBA yeah. to be a touch inclement as Are well. Are we? Hence? Yeah. <laughs> well, hence. I think it's going to be a scrappy affair. So we're going to take Geelong to win. Danger to be tough in and yeah. under. Have 25 or more. Rory Laird to have 30 or more. And in a low-ish scoring game, I'm tipping Cameron to kick two goals. Down from his average of 4-3. Two goals. But because of the rain build, the precipitation, harder to catch it, harder to kick it. Two goals there. $3.83. Jeremy Cameron, two goals. We kick two or more. Three dollars eighty-three. All right then, and this will be a corker of a game. Port Adelaide taking on Essendon over there in Adelaide Oval, of course. Port have won their last four. What about Bokey and Horn Francis, the old goat and the young goat? Yes, absolutely. The Billy Goat. Yeah, we. Well, you- Correct. Something along those lines. Been absolutely outstanding, Horn Francis. I've loved watching him go about it. Some severe criticism to start off his career, but now he's letting his footy do the talking. The Bombers, they were pretty good after quarter time against your Cats. Slow out the box after the short backup from Anzac Day, but once they got going, they were all right. Their midfield is very good. Uh, Backline, okay. They've just got to work out that forward line. But they kicked over 100 points against the Cats at the MCG, Mm. so they're going okay, but you'd think Port Adelaide would win this one at Adelaide Oval, and I'm sure you'll have a same game. I have. So they've lost their last six to Port Adelaide, have the Bombers. So I'm going to have that run to continue. $1.44 for the win. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Zach Butters to have 20 or more disposals. Zach Merritt to have 25 or more disposals. And Charlie Dixon, two or more goals. Slightly safe, 315. I like it, Bill. (laughs) Slightly safe, you reckon? $3.15. $3.15. I like hey, it. It days well. If we get it, if the green ticks come up, <laughs> yes. we'll be happy with that. Uh, what about Collingwood, Sydney? MCG. Collingwood are flying top of the ladder. They're a game clear. They've just got belief. They can win from anywhere. I love this. Well done to the whole club there. All they do is win, Bill. They Doesn't do. matter how far ahead the opposition are or how far they are. They just continue to play to the 120th minute. They say you have to play 120 yes. to beat us. And I don't think the Swans can do that at the minute with their injury list. They're defeated. Uh, sorry. They're depleted in the back line down there. Yes. I think the Pies continue on their merry, merry way at top of the ladder. They were disappointing, Sydney, and they've lost their last two. Horse will have them up and about. Yes. He'll have them up and about. Can you believe they haven't played? This is the first time these two will battle at the MCG since 2013. 2013? Ten years ago. Wow, well, we. Have you updated the uh, points better? I've uh, downloaded it too and updated it. You get access to all those markets and many, many more. Have a great week. Happy punting. <laughs>